So what went wrong with Terrence Ruffin? Ruff Diesel. He placed second at the 2021 Mr. Olympia. And then he won the 2022 Arnold Classic event. Men's Classic Physique Division, of course. And then everybody, everybody including me, said that he had second place at the 2022 Olympia as a lock. He was definitely getting second place. The question was, who's going to place third? He plummeted all the way down to sixth place. He lost to uh, Ramon Dino, Urs Kalasinski. Kalasinski. He lost to Mike Sommerfeld. And of course, the champion, uh, Bumstead. Breon Ansley as well. Got a victory over him. So what happened? Is there that much of a, a drastic difference? We have the Olympia version, 2021. We have the Arnold Classic. And we have the 2022 Olympia. First thing I notice is his his left leg look at his left leg at the 2022 it's small very undersized his right leg doesn't look too much smaller now i would say maybe the 2021 olympia might be the biggest as far as development is concerned but he looks like he's a little more cut a little more conditioned there's some details the teardrops things of that nature for the arnold classic that i would wager to say he's at his best his arms are also downsized as well as that left leg at the uh, 2022 go through the rest of the shots here and yes look at that lag for the uh the 2021 olympia definitely superior in size and that would be his uh his left leg his left leg is a little bit smaller here even at the arnold classic event hmm hmm leads me to believe something happened for sure i would say look at how downsized his delt is at the the, just this past year's 2022, last year, I guess, that Olympia, his arm, it's like half the size. Definitely. You could see that from the front double as well. Better development in the biceps, I would say. Overall, maybe for the uh, two years two year ago, two years ago at the Olympia, I apologize. Go to the side tricep here. And he is opened up better at the Olymp both Olympias. And actually... The 2021, or two, 2022 rather, he's got some obliques there. He's probably just flexing them more, maybe. But hard to say, hard to say. Maybe he wasn't as conditioned. 2021. 2022 Arnold's Classics. He looks like he has a nice, fine finish here. Looks a little harder and grainier. Like I said, he might not be as displayed as much. Maybe he's a little bit smaller. But if he's more conditioned, that would, yeah, that would make more sense. Let's have a look at the backs. Now, unfortunately, this is the uh, both Olympias. We don't have the Arnold Classic 2022 for the rear lat. Yeah, yeah. You can see the Christmas tree for 21. For sure, I would say. His left leg, even from behind, looks a little bit more slender. So something happened, I think, guys. Terrence Ruffin, his left leg might be a little bit undersized now. Something happened. Here's the rear double. Now we do have all all the versions. Looks pretty good. The back itself looks just as big. His traps are a little bit smaller, I think. 22, 21, and uh, 22 Arnold. His traps, you can see, a little bit more bulbous. I think his back is the best at the Arnold, I would say. And as far as conditioning is concerned, glutes, things of that nature, mm, he brought the condition. He brought the condition at the 2022. It's just, I don't think he's quite as tight. And his arms, like I said, even from the back, you can see his biceps. Maybe something happened to his biceps. Maybe he didn't train them as hard. I don't know. It seems he's a little underwhelming in the upper body, the delts. And like I said earlier, that, uh, that left leg down a little. Other than that, I mean, the guy's still sixth best in the, uh, in the world, the men's classic physique division. And we're, uh, yeah. That's it. What what do you guys think? What's the overall best package here? Olympia 2021. I'm sure a lot of you guys would say. He got second to Bumstead. He looks maybe his heaviest. But I think he's more cut. Come Arnold Classic. You can see some more uh, cuts in the feathering. Or the, the, the feathering in the quads. The teardrops. Things of that nature. And he has more shapely peaks. I would say. And just this, this past year. His... Uh, his far leg, you can see in this picture, the least uh, 
is where in terms of size and condition, just the least uh, impressive, I would wager to say. And obviously, guys, he got sixth. So probably knowing that he was not going to get into that first call-out situation, that can really put a damper on the way you're posing, your mood, things of that, that nature. And that all reflects what the judges see. Anyway, guys, I highly doubt that this is going to, you know, keep Terrence Ruff and Ruff Diesel down. I can easily see him coming back next year's Olympia, or this year rather, 2023 Olympia, and shocking the world, maybe even defeating Chris Bumstead. That would be a comeback story of all comeback stories. He's going to have to qualify, of course, placing out of that top five. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Let me know what do you think. What do you think is the best version here? Do you think it's obvious that he, uh, he dropped the ball? Olympia 2022? Or do you think politics had something to do with it? I don't think so. I don't think so. Subscribe, guys. Have a nice one.